Have you ever been in this situation? Have you seen this occurring before? What are your opinions? The rising trend of people staying connected through social networking platforms in Singapore has somehow affected our physical interactions. According to a survey that we have conducted, Singaporeans prefer to use these communication means rather than to talk face to face. I have Blogger, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. You like Facebook, Hamster, and Messen? Uh, Facebook, Multiply, Twitter, um, MySpace, and MSN. So I have an iPhone now which has everything inside. I check it almost every time, every 10 minutes. I think like almost daily. With my phone, I can check um, updates uh, of my friend and my children uh, whenever I want to. You don't meet your friends that often anymore. Websites has have actually enhanced my friendship and bring it to another level because I get to know my friends more. As mentioned, people find it convenient to receive updates about their family and friends without asking directly. However, all is not bad. This is the story of Hairi and how he stays connected with his big family through Facebook. I set up my Facebook account around 3 or 4 years ago. A few of my family members on Facebook. You know, the trend is there. Uh, aunties and uncles will just go in and see when we meet up, then you just ask like, Hey, do you have a Facebook account? Hey, set up lah. Okay, the main point of Facebook is so that you can connect with your friends. And you don't need to actually call them and ask them, oh, how are you doing? I can just like look, oh, you're a nurse now. <laughs> nice. My auntie will just post something on the discussion board. Like for example, she just asks, okay, um, shall we celebrate somebody's birthday at blah, 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 that sort of thing. Then everybody will just see it and just give their input, like suggestions, where to meet, when to meet, stuff like that. Um, but for my case, actually, like uh, interactions over the internet is Actually, it actually enhances our relationship because like I mentioned, we get to plan all our events and actually meet up after that. Um, other than that, we also get to see stuff that our relatives are doing, how they are doing in school for example, uh, whether somebody is enjoying his job. Looking at Hairi's story, we can draw other examples on how people use these platforms to enhance their social interactions. Online social networking is a powerful tool. It is now an integrated element in most Singaporeans' lives. It may change one's preferred mode of communication, but human interactions will still prevail, regardless whether it is physical or online.